the offensive player of the year award, you know, has kind of been that other award that, you know, doesn't go to a quarterback all the time. And you have your eyes on a wide receiver who is on pace to put up the same kind of stats as receivers who have won this award in the past. I do. I like Tyreek Hill here and I did not bet this award before the season and I bet every award from every angle, but this was one that I sat out because like you said, the whole thing with offensive player of the year is you just need the outlier unpredictable stats by definition. We can't predict that. So we have to wait till we get some numbers and I'm starting to wonder, could Tyreek Hill be that outlier? Look at some of the games he's had this year through six games, 11 catches, 190 yards, 160 yards, 177 yards. That's three games of 160 yards in the entire NFL. There are eight games with 160 yards so far this season. Tyreek Hill has three of them. So far in NFL history, we've only ever had 19 players put up four games of 150 or more yards in a whole season. Tyreek Hill has three after six games so far. So he right now leads the league with 701 receiving yards. And that's even despite two really weird Dolphins games, right? We had the game against the Bills where Tua, well, let's just say he had some health issues without getting to that. He only had 33 yards in that game. He had another game where Teddy gets hurt on the first play and Skylar Thompson is in. So we're playing with a third string rookie all game, even with those two bad games, 701 yards on pace for 1,986 yards. That would be an NFL record if he kept that up. And those numbers might actually be deflated, not inflated because of those big games that he's had. So when you watch Miami, you kind of see the same thing week by week. Tyreek Hill, one side, Jalen Waddle on the other side. They're exhausting the defense. They're running them to death. And late in the half, second quarter and fourth quarter, is when Miami is opening things up. And we know with Tyreek, he can take it to the house on any play, any time. So any game, he's a threat on any play, 75 more yards, 80 more yards, 50 more yards. So I love this spot. This is one of my favorite Futures Fridays that we've done, Dan. So you definitely want to grab this one. And last thing, you got to do it now because look at the schedule. They play Pittsburgh this week, who was short their top three cornerbacks last week. And then they play Detroit next week, who is dead last in defense. So I think by the end of these two games, he might have be over a thousand yards already with over half the season to go. We've never had a 2000 yard receiving season before. That's a pretty easy case for offensive player of the year. Look at the numbers, Cooper Cup, Michael Thomas, Calvin Johnson, his record season. Basically, Tyreek is right on pace with all of those numbers. So I love him here. I think he's a great offensive player of the year hit, 16 to one. I think he should be among the favorites and he might be very soon. 